Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Alon from Lothus TV. Today we're having a look at this. This is the Setachi Aluminium Hub and Stand for the iPad Pro. So as you can see, this thing is um, pretty much a built-in hub and stand. This goes for $100, $99.99. As far as build quality goes, it's made out of uh, aluminum slash aluminium, depending on where you are in the country. And it comes with some nice little rubberized feet. And of course, the ports in the back, which consist of a, a full-size HDMI 2.0 and a USB-A which uh, obviously has some power delivery and then your power in or USB-C and audio jack and of course your micro and full size SD card slots. Pretty much a nice package for having sitting on your desk and doing some work. The nice thing I do like about this is that it doesn't interfere with your case, whatever you have. You'll see once you open it up, it's got a nice built-in stand with some rubber on the bottom here and a nice bit of rubber on the back, not to damage your iPad if you put it on there without a case. And it's wide enough here that it can actually house multiple sizes of cases. You'll see it's got a nice little, where we can get it in the overhead here. It's got a nice little protective groove that you can have uh, any case resting in it. And it's wide enough for most cases. I have a case with a nice back on it and a stand which fits in there quite nicely and there's a bit of space still left in there if I do want to have maybe a thicker case. The actual attachment cable is folded away in the bottom, you'll see over here, and you manhandle it out so that when you've opened the stand itself you'll see that the one rest actually is protruding and the feet are still available to you if it's closed. So if you have a case that has its own stand and you don't want to use the actual built-in stand, you can use this quite nicely just as a desktop hub. And then you have the cable which fits nicely into most cases. So you can just put it up there and you now have all the features of the hub. It's a one connection solution, which is very nice. One of the good things about using uh, Project products, I actually have another hub from them that I use regularly, um, specifically because the HDMIs actually do support 4K in 60, as opposed to a lot of the cheaper brands that are coming out that have uh, 4K in 30, and that's their maximum supported. So you can't get that extra 30 frames if, you know, in this case, your iPad, which does support it. Just as a disclaimer, I bought this myself. Uh, I actually use this on a day-to-day -day basis, as I do with most things that I buy. So I am not responsible to them for any reviews or anything like that. These are all my own opinions on the product. And luckily my opinions are good. For the price, you're actually getting a very nice product here, especially in the market where $99 doesn't really get you much for a hub, especially for something like a Mac or an iPad. And because it's USB-C, you can obviously use it for a Mac or uh, you know any USB-C based product. Um, I'm not too sure if it works with a Windows laptop because I actually don't have a Windows laptop with a USB-C port in it, but I would imagine there's no reason why it wouldn't. But they're selling it for the iPad and for the iPad it works very well. It has everything that you need. Um, I would have liked to have seen maybe a second USB-A port. I do find that if I plug in something like an external microphone, I then used up the port. I can't plug in now an external drive or something like that. So it would be nice if I had the extra port um, without having to put in yet a, you know, maybe a powered USB hub of some sort, uh, which I don't really want to have to do. I mean, this is supposed to be a one-stop solution, but I think my use case is probably not the same as most people and a single USB-A is probably suitable for anybody that's going to use this for just day-to-day -day business. It is a very nice solution and a very elegant solution 
it's out of the way, it's nice and small, it's solid enough, that it's not going to just fall over and bend. So the obvious downsides with something like this is you do only have the one angle, so you can't adjust it to multiple angles. If I unplug this and show you here, it really does only open to that one angle and that's it. That's It's not going anywhere there. It's got a little bit of flex there, but once you put your iPad on, it actually rests back there and it's nice and solid. But that's your bundle as far as angles go. The bottom is made of plastic and there's a little bit of give here, but nothing that I would be worried about. Other Satachi products that I've used generally last quite long. Um, they're not a cheap brand, but they're also not super expensive. So they are all nicely priced. And I think something like this for what you're paying for. Would I recommend this to somebody? Definitely. For the price, $99, or we'll call it what it is, $100 is nothing for what you're paying for. Um, for people in Europe, I would be a little wary and wait until you can actually get it in Europe. I had to order this from overseas and the tax from bringing it in overseas is extortionate. So I would definitely hang on and wait until it's available within the EU and then buy it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at our Satachi Hub. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all those cliches that I normally have to spew afterwards and I will catch you on the next one. Bye bye.